Once upon a time in a land far, far away, nestled deep within an enchanted forest, lived a young girl named Lila. Lila was unlike any other child in the village. She had an insatiable curiosity and an imagination that knew no bounds. She believed that there was magic in everything around her, from the shimmering dewdrops on the leaves to the rustling of the wind through the trees. One sunny morning, as Lila was exploring the outskirts of the village, she stumbled upon a hidden path that led into the heart of the enchanted forest. The moment her feet touched the path, the air around her seemed to hum with a mystical energy. Intrigued and excited, Lila took her first step into the unknown. As she ventured deeper into the forest, she encountered a wise old owl named Oliver. Oliver perched on a gnarled branch, his eyes sparkling with ancient wisdom. Ah, young traveler, he hooted, you have entered the realm of the magical numbers. To proceed, you must solve the riddles of the forest creatures. Lila's eyes widened with wonder. She accepted the challenge and set off to solve the first riddle. The riddle was posed by a mischievous pixie who sat atop a toadstool. I have twice as many sisters as brothers. If I have six sisters, how many siblings do I have in total? Lila furrowed her brow and thought hard. Just as she was about to give up, a soft voice spoke from behind her. The answer, my dear, is nine, said a gentle voice. Lila turned around to see a kind-looking man with a long white beard and a twinkle in his eyes. I am Max the mathematician, he introduced himself. I have been wandering these woods for ages, helping those who seek to unlock its secrets. Would you like some help? Lila's face lit up with excitement. She explained the riddle to Max, and he patiently explained the solution. You see, for each sister, there's a corresponding brother. So, if you have six sisters, you also have six brothers. Add them up, and you get nine siblings in total. With Max's guidance, Lila solved the riddle and earned the pixie's approval. As they continued their journey, they encountered a trio of singing frogs who challenged Lila with their riddle. If one frog sings a melody for a quarter of an hour, another for a third of an hour, and the last for half an hour, how long do they sing in total? Lila scratched her head, puzzled by the fractions. But with Max's patient explanations and clever examples, Lila grasped the concept of finding a common denominator. Together, they solved the riddle, and the frogs hopped in delight. Throughout their adventure, Lila and Max encountered more magical creatures with increasingly complex riddles. With every challenge, Lila's confidence in solving math problems grew, and Max's patience and wisdom became her guiding light. They laughed with a group of wisecracking squirrels, danced with fireflies that formed intricate patterns, and even deciphered the whispers of the ancient trees. As the sun began to set, casting a warm, golden glow over the forest, Lila and Max faced the final challenge. A majestic unicorn stood before them, its horn aglow with a soft, radiant light. To proceed, the unicorn said, you must unravel this final riddle, a dragonfly lands on the first magical number, which is a multiple of three. The second magical number is a multiple of five and three. The third magical number is the sum of the first two. What are these numbers? Lila and Max exchanged a determined glance. 
They sat down together and worked through the riddle, applying all the math skills they had learned along the way. With Max's encouragement and Lila's newfound problem-solving prowess, they finally uncovered the answer. The first magical number was 6, the second was 15, and the third was 21. The unicorn's eyes gleamed with approval, and its horn emitted a brilliant burst of light. You have proven yourselves worthy, it proclaimed. The forest's secrets are now yours to share. Lila and Max walked back to the village, their hearts full of gratitude and wonder. Lila had not only discovered the magic she had always believed in, but she had also learned that with determination, guidance, and a sprinkle of imagination, she could conquer any challenge, even the most enchanting and puzzling ones. And so, dear reader, the magical numbers adventure of Lila and Max became a cherished tale in the village, inspiring young minds to embrace the world of mathematics with enthusiasm and joy.